Uh, John of the Oaks next in the Phillies Classic over a mile and a half. Three year olds, Phillies, of course. And the top one is Anne of Troy, Paul Rhodes, Blue Earth, Darren Thompson, Budgie Smuggler, Django, Daddy's Little Girl, Paul Rhodes, Dancer, Django, End of Now, John Morgan, Salem's Lot, Joshua Sutherland, Springtime, David Robertson, Tango, Whiskey, Tam King, and the rank outsider, Wild One Forever, Martin Leader. So, ten of them then. Pretty small field for a classic. And. Away they go. Level break again. As ever, Salem's a lot on the outside. He's going to try and get to the lead and maybe try to cut over to the inside. Also, Daddy's little girl is going to try and do that as well. They sort themselves out through the first couple of furlongs. And Salem's lot has got to the lead and now pushed right along into that fence and is the early leader. So, Salem's lot is going to lead by a couple of has got the rail from springtime in second. Then end of now after that one and Dancer and Anna of Trouble. They're pretty closely packed the main group of the field, but Salem's lot is about two lengths clear of the rest of them. The rest of them covered by about a length and a half in the Oaks there, and Salem's lot is the leader by about a length or so now. Everybody all that keen to go and challenge and seem this might turn into a little bit of a sprint as they cross that little road there. And they've got seven and a half furlongs to race. And Salem's Lot is the leader by about two lengths to Anne of Troy on the inside. The curiously named Budgie Smuggler is on the outside of that one. Then comes Wild One Forever, who's running a big race on the outside. That's no, no better than a 0-70 handicapper, that one. Right towards the back of the field are Daddy's Little Girl and Tango Whiskey. But it's Salem's Lot the leader. Salem's Lot in front then from Wild One Forever and Anne of Troy. Then Dancer on the outside and End of Now is there as well still. And it's Salem's Lot they've got to get to as they pass the five furlong pole. Salem's Lot's leader by about a length and a half to Wild One Forever in second. Then comes Dancer in third. End of now is four and a half. Troy is five. Budgie Smuggler is next. And then Daddy's Little Girl. Then Tango Whiskey. Then comes Springtime. Blue Earth is the back marker as they race now down towards the final three and a half furlongs in the Oaks. And it's Salem Lot in the lead by about two lengths to Wild One Forever in second. The grey end of now is now coming down with a big challenge on the outside. Then comes Budgie Smuggler. Anna of Troy, Daddy's little girl, they're queuing up to challenge now. Tango Whiskey on the wide outside, but it's still Sam's Lot they've got to get to. Sam's Lot past the two furlong pole in the lead from Budgie Smuggler and Anna of Troy. Wild one forever, still plugging on the inside. They've not gone anywhere near this. Sam's Lot yet, they come down over the furlong pole now, and Sam's Lot is still a length and a half clear, and nothing's even thrown down a challenge yet. And this is probably going to be the easiest classic win you'll ever see. Sam's Lot, pillar of post. What an easy win up towards the line. Salem's Lot takes it from Budgie Smuggler. Anne of Troy, end of now. And then Dancer. I don't think the three year olds are up to much this season, to be honest, from this. I don't think I wasn't impressed by the Guineas, and I'm not impressed by the Oaks. Salem's Lot takes it, though, for Joshua Sutherland. He won't care. Budgie Smuggler, second for Django. Anne of Troy for Paul Rhodes, third. End of now for John Morgan, fourth. And Dancer for Django. What's fifth?